Holy. <laughs> Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today I'm reacting to Young Frankenstein. So, had a blast with the first two Mel Brooks movies that I watched, Robin Hood Men in Tights, then Blazing Saddles. Both were out there, both were crazy, and both were just... <laughs> really committed to the jokes and the ridiculousness of the situation had me laughing pretty much the whole time so for young frankenstein i don't know much about this i know that the movie's in black and white i know that gene wilder is in this movie which is the number one reason that i'm excited i mean obviously i love him from billy wonka and the chocolate factory i've seen that movie so many times growing up and then recently in blazing saddles he was also really really good so looking forward to seeing another comedy movie with him and yeah i've just been having a great time with mel brooks film so uh, if you do want me to kind of continue do a few more of those let me know in the comments down below which ones are the best I, I'm kind of leaning towards doing space balls next uh, whatever I decide at the time of recording I don't know right now but that'll be out on patreon right now for early access if you care to support and also watch the full reactions to this and all my movies and reactions for now let's just get into today's reaction young Frankenstein <laughs> I wonder what the creative decision behind making this movie black and white was exactly. Because I don't think, it's not as, it's not like Casablanca old, is it? That they had to shoot it in black and white? I don't think so. I don't know why, but that castle makes me think of uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, the one I reacted to. In case you were, the mood wasn't already set enough with this sad music, the rain has started. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they both work together on, like, the story of this one. That's interesting. I wonder how that collaboration went, like, behind the scenes. For a second, I was like, oh, a vampire's gonna come out, but that's wrong, wrong movie, right? This is Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, is that his dad, maybe? Because this is young Frankenstein? Lula oblongata, which passes out of the skull through the foramen magnum and becomes... Before he created monsters, he was an ordinary teacher. Beg your pardon? Excuse me? <laughs> My name, it's pronounced Frankenstein. <laughs> Since when, bro? <laughs> Mental relationship to a famous cuckoo. <laughs> wait, 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 hold I thought this was gonna be like an origin story. They already know the story of Frankenstein? No one's gonna help them? <laughs> Come on, look at this guy. Which can be done with any ordinary metal clamp, just at the swelling on the pop. <laughs> this poor man, he looks terrified. They definitely did tell him what this entailed. Mother grabbing bastard. As you can see, all communication is shut off. I mean, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did he actually feel it? He's just holding it in. <laughs> Are you a fraud, Frankenstein, Frankenstein, however you say it? Broccoli! Oh, yay. I mean, I'll, I'll clap for that. This is great. In conclusion, it should be noted. Give him an extra dollar. Extra dollar. Yes, sir. One extra dollar? How much was a dollar work back then? Before we leave. Uh, Dr. Frank... Are you related to Saul Goodman? Frankenstein. <laughs> just that look, just that look stopped him, stopped him dead in his tracks. The only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life! <laughs> Careful there. Use something else to make a point. Use your hand. <laughs> he wow. covers it up with his leg. <laughs> What are you, Leo DiCaprio, filming Django Unchained? Unfazed. What? I'm going to that party at Nana and Nikki's later. I don't want to smear my lipstick. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I'll say sweet words, but a kiss, that's too much. What else can I say? My sweet love. The hair, the hair. Just... <laughs> <laughs> They've definitely been in this relationship for a while. And again. Well, hurry now, before I make a fool of myself. Ah, the nails! Oh. <laughs> Just don't touch me, okay? I could look beautiful from afar. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. We've reached new heights of romancing. <laughs> I hope she's back in the movie. Oh, wow. We need more of the two of them, please. Looks like a noir movie or something. All this smoke and shadow. Dr. Frankenstein. Holy! <laughs> Freeze frame on the face. You're putting me on. No. How are his eyes that wide? How? How do you even do that? Why, Herr Falkstein, weren't you? Yes. My grandfather used to work for your grandfather. Who is the actor playing Igor? Igor. <laughs> I can't get over how he looks. Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What hump? <laughs> it's a sensitive subject. Master. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> He's willing to help, but only so much. I think you'll be more comfortable in the rear. Oh. This is what happens when you don't take Uber Black. Oh, oh what's Inga gonna be like? Oof. Hello. Oh, she looks fine. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, <laughs> Does she mean literally? Does she though? Just think of the origin of that expression. That's pretty dated, right? A roll in the hay? Like, where did that even... That must have started from way back in the day. Don't forget about the fiancé you can't touch or kiss. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. He's like, I'm smart and brave. Okay, this feels like definitely a direct parody of Dracula as well as Frankenstein. What? There, wolf. There. Castle. There, wolf. <laughs> okay, well, this movie is next level. It is home. Wait, but if this was the opening castle, so that guy broke, that's where the guy broke in, right from here. Okay. Sorry, I'm slow putting together the plot. <laughs> Make the door handles a little bigger. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> Let her misunderstand that. <laughs> I am Paul Blucher. <laughs> the horses are scared of her. <laughs> After you, Frau Blucher. It's like a horror track instead of a laugh track, the horses. Close to the candles. Why, why are the candles not lit? You gotta be kidding me. Any doctor might have them in his study. This is the only library I know of, Dr. Frankenstone. Don't trust her. I don't trust her one bit. Would the doctor care for a brandy? It might be poison. Thank you. Some warm milk? She's trying to get you to drink something. Don't. No, thank you very much. No thanks. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, turning oh, down a brandy for milk? Ovaltine or that? Nothing. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Whoever this actress is, she is very comedically talented as well. <laughs> what is she doing? What is she doing in the reflection? Oh, what the heck? Kissing the painting? Okay, well... She's like, who's the, was it like the nanny from Rebecca, the Hitchcock movie? She gives me that energy. Doctor. Good night, Frau Blucher. <laughs> the horses heard you all the way from here. Okay, well. I don't believe in fate. And I won't say it. All right, you win. You win. You can't escape destiny. It's too powerful. Destiny! Destiny. Exactly, destiny. No there we go. That for me. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> he said it, but the delivery is much better. <laughs> it seems louder over here. Hand me that candle, will you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I did it like over and over, but maybe. Candle back. Okay, okay. 
that's what I've seen in a video. Take out the candle and I'll block the bookcase with my body. I don't think that's a good plan. Did it work? Put the <laughs> candle back. With all of your might, show. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it worked, but not for her. I mean, how do you escape this? Oh, no. oh that worked. Is this where his grandfather did all the experiments with the bodies? It must be. <laughs> Just break the door down, okay? Three years dead? Who updates that sign? <laughs> Wait, what? Ugh. That's too fresh. Fire! <laughs> Master, it might be dangerous. You go first. <laughs> How can you not like Igor, honestly? But I'm not going to be the first. Jeez. He was right to be afraid. Damn your eyes. Too late. <laughs> that was honestly a great response. This is where it all happened. But if his grandfather succeeded, where is the monster? Is it gonna be down here? Or is it like running loose in the world? Like how faithful is this to the novel? It is! This is my grandfather's private library! I feel it! I like the delayed light bulb. <laughs> Change the poles from plus to minus, and from minus to plus. They're not so interested in this science stuff, come on. Heisenberg can relate. God! <laughs> the smiling now. Oh, that was a great Eureka moment. <laughs> to be increased in size. Exactly. He would have an enormous Schwanstucker. <laughs> in size. Something like this. Well done. I thought it was going to be a ridiculous picture. That's actually pretty good, Igor. Come on, it's destiny, right? Dang, <laughs> pretty ominous transition. We're literally seeing the dead Frankenstein before he comes back to life. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the way Igor is digging <laughs> looks so funny. <laughs> the way he's throwing the dirt. Could be worse? How? Could be raining. It's gonna start raining again. Okay. <laughs> Should have knocked on wood there, Igor. <laughs> Don't make too much noise rolling that gigantic cart around. Need a hand? Uh, no thanks. Have one. Thanks very much. <laughs> the moment, huh? I know everyone in this neighborhood, but I've never seen your face before. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's check it. Yes. <laughs> well, if you have everything in hand, sir, I'll say good night. Everything in hand? I like that. I like that. Such a specimen for a body. All we need now is an equally magnificent... Oh, that's right. Okay, you gotta find the body of a really smart person. It's like returning library books back in the day. <laughs> He's telling the door to be quiet or himself. Scientist and saint. Oh, wow. Already canonized. <laughs> I like that. Staring into the camera. Oh, dude. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, who are we going to get now? All right. Well, we got the origin story of the monster. Oh my gosh. It's Dahmer's brain, okay? <laughs> There's the face of the iconic monster. Ability of electrocution. Do you understand? I understand. I understand. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> A teleporting assistant. That's pretty amazing. Can you imagine the brain of Hans Delbruck in this body? Just wait. Just wait. I am man. Our greatest dread. I know this is a comedy, but I can see Gene Wilder as a good dramatic actor too, honestly. We need lightning! We need some lightning! It worked? And you wonder why people call him a mad scientist. Me fixing my computer. Son of a bitch bastard, I'll get you for this! <laughs> Holy! Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna like break down in tears, not do that! <laughs> Quiet dignity and grace. <laughs> Calling for your mom. Wait, what? He have like a robot arm or something? What the heck is he doing? <laughs> I think we've got our antagonist in the movie. We had better make dance here. Of our evidence. Well, I like his mindset. I like how he's looking for proof. You haven't even touched your food. There. <laughs> All right, now he's five. <laughs> What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? Why don't you get out of there and give someone else a chance? <laughs> Make that an inspirational poster, please. Maybe it is better off dead. Wait, is he actually going to come alive right now, or do they need, like, lightning 2.0? Oh dang, okay, just had a delayed success. You when it wasn't you. <laughs> Alright, let's see how he celebrates when he realizes he succeeded. It's alive. It's alive. That's an iconic quote from an old Frankenstein movie, right? I'm going to set you free. Be very careful doing that. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Sit up. Okay, well the abnormal brain at least can understand what he's saying. Good. Hi, girl, are you about to light a joint? Oh shoot, what? Oh, he's scared of fire or something? <laughs> Dude, look out! Three syllables. First oh syllable. my gosh, oh Sounds my like gosh. <laughs> Said. Said. Second syllable! Little bird, I'll get that uh. <laughs> uh, give! Said, said, uh, give! Give him a said, uh, give! And give Frankenstein an award for doing this while being strangled. Said I give? <laughs> now, that brain that you gave me, was it... How does he know right away that it's not working? I did put in. And you won't be angry. I will not be angry. He's definitely going to be angry. Abby someone. Abby who? Abby normal. Oh. <laughs> At first I was like, wait, did you see the name on a label? Four inch wide gorilla! <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I 
That's his go-to corrective measure, strangling. <laughs> oh my gosh. That could be at this hour. <laughs> he doesn't need the knocker. Station the forest, me Herr Dr. Butt. Jeans and chromosomes. Don't distract the artist at his work. And you are a <laughs> Stop playing darts, you're gonna destroy the value of this castle. Seem unusually upset by this discussion. Well, are you really throwing the darts backwards now? Your grandfather's fork. Oh, May bad timing. Oh, okay, good. That actually worked out. <laughs> They get stuck. <laughs> Did the actor just do that with his hand? It looks like believably mechanical the way he moves it. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Does he realize the dart is there? Oh, <laughs> he flattened all the tires. Okay, actually, I thought his aim was bad. It was incredible. What is she gonna do discovering this? Victor, we have done it. Well, the grandson did it, but I guess you can take credit. Thank heaven that's over with. <laughs> that was a great facial reaction from all three of the actors. Yes. Are you insane? He'll kill you. How do you know? Just because he's abnormal? Brain! It's not rotten. It's a good brain. It's rotten, I tell you. Rotten. Don't say it in front of him. Middle of the night. Yes! To get us into the laboratory. <laughs> yes! That was your cigar smoldering in <laughs> Every plot twist should be pl accompanied by the person playing a violin. He was my boyfriend! I would have thought you would use the term lover personally. Holy! Did he just set himself on fire? But if the townspeople see him, then you will be in trouble, Frankenstein. What have I done? <laughs> they all pose the same way. Dear little flower, oh, I love my flower. Careful, girl, careful. I asked you to put Helga to... How could you guys forget? Oh, look how friendly he is. It's like the opening of Snow White. See, abnormal doesn't mean rotten. That's what I'm saying. Frankenstein's monster is a sweetheart. What shall we throw in now? Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I spoke too soon. Is he going to throw the girl in? Sit down. Holy. <laughs> Pass a few short hours in my lonely life. <laughs> You need to be more specific in your prayers. The pleasure of another human being. And sometimes in our theology, oh. We're... oh my gosh. Oh. Simple pleasure. <laughs> it is the basis for true happiness. <laughs> yes, yes. How much soup can one man take? Was he gonna miss the cup too? Okay, no. He got the wine. At least he'll have some wine. <laughs> oh my gosh. You really aren't used to having guests over. Oh, but lighting the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't smoke, okay? Give him an edible instead. Oh, maybe he's gonna learn to not be afraid of fire now. Oh, that's not the cigar. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, well, I spoke too soon. Here's the trauma. <laughs> So much for the long friendship. It's pretty sad, actually. <laughs> the poor monster just wants some food, a friend, and listen to music. The simple things in life. Oh, is that him? 
I didn't recognize him at first. Nice disguise, dude. I feel bad for him. No matter how terribly I may scream, do not open this door. Okay. <laughs> this is not a good instruction to leave behind ever. <laughs> We'll start by saying sorry for capturing you with the net and chaining you up. Let me out, let me out of <laughs> That didn't take long, one growl and he gave up. <laughs> okay. Don't you know a joke when you hear one? <laughs> Open this goddamn door, I'll kick your out in the head then. Mommy! <laughs> Oh, the chains are gone that quick? <laughs> You're a good looking fellow, do you know that? Pe is flattery the way? Is not telling him the truth the way to his heart? <laughs> oh, dang, dang, this is like a breakthrough in therapy. It's turned into goodwill hunting. <laughs> I'm going to teach you, I'm going to. Look at this, Frankenstein is like a good dad. My name is Frankenstein! Oh, that's great. That's great. What a moment. He's owning it. That's his Saul Goodman moment. Dr. Baron Friedrich von Frankenstein. <laughs> no applause? No applause? Okay, this is going to be a tough crowd. Can you imagine being a comic with this audience? Actual and philosophical pleasure. The creature. Oh, he didn't even give him a real name. Okay, they went from fear to applause pretty quick. <laughs> he gets a treat like he's training a dog. <laughs> That was a quick costume change. <laughs> Just sign up for America's Got Talent already. Come on. I mean, how could the crowd, the crowd has to love him now, right? Come on. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's like the flashing cameras. Okay. Nothing I tell you. Five, six, seven, eight. No, no. Once we get fired, it's game over. Make me look like a fool. <laughs> the crowd turned on him so quick. They're like, yeah, he came back from the dead, but he messes up in his dance number. <laughs> What are they throwing? What are they throwing? Bushes? Oh, dang it. All right, you gotta rescue your creation now. If only there was some way I could relieve this torture you are going through. Oh my gosh. If only there was some way. Help <laughs> If there was just some way I could... Could you possibly be suggesting something? <laughs> That's the spot they chose? <laughs> oh my gosh. I will go prepare a room at once. Well, that was bad timing. So just, you put on a tie. just a tie? How about everything else? Inga and Igor. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> she says it to her twice. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Stop that. It has the head on the fur? That's so weird. Right. Nice and cold. Just break free and beat up all the cops. Oh. Is he doing that on purpose? Yeah, he definitely is. is they? Cause they might get hurt. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, good. These chains aren't strong enough to hold him either. I love you. <laughs> I love you, honey. She has a strict set of rules when it comes to anything romantic. <laughs> Oh shoot, I forgot what happens to the fiance in the original Frankenstein movie. I mean, story of the book. I don't know if I've seen a movie. Is it really gonna go that dark though? Dang. Is she unconscious or actually dead? Oh my god. Woof. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, not since a fish named Wanda has sex been this good. <laughs> yeah, there's no going back after this. I feel like <laughs> we're gonna have two happy marriages at the end of this movie. <laughs> Great plot twist. Don't fall, man. Don't fall. Don't touch him. He wants to do it by himself. No, no, no. Help him. Help him. Oh, okay. He could do it by himself. I was worried. Wait, what are they trying to do? They're trying to get the other brain or something? The doctor said to allow 15 minutes. Not one second more. Wait, are they transferring Frankenstein into the creature? Two more minutes. Well, you're running out of time. <laughs> are you kidding me? A human battering ram? All right, well. <laughs> You can't find any door that will stop them. Oh, are you for real? Put that man down. What? How can he speak now? He's the first to offer you my hand in friendship. Not every handshake will be like this. Dang, they calmed the mob down. That was that was pretty crazy. My house for the little sponge cake or the little vine. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so they just transfer some of his intelligence over? Is that what happens? Is that why he can speak so well? Mrs. Frankenstein? Mrs. Frankenstein, what a beautiful... I mean, come on, they were better suited for each other for sure. Wendy, here I come. <laughs> Holy, look at her hair. <laughs> okay, she might just be the best character of the movie. <laughs> the feeling is mortal. Oh, wait, hold on. Did the transfer get complete? Is he the monster or something? What, what did you ever get from him? Oh, I don't believe. Oh, ah, Oh. History of life, at last I found you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was not what I expected. <laughs> oh, what a great closing joke for the film. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, wow, that was young Frankenstein, Mel, Mel Brooks again. Okay, well, um, sorry, just the ending of the movie was, that last joke was a surprise. 
<laughs> pretty genius, actually. They set it up pretty well, too. I wonder if anyone else saw that coming. I didn't see it coming. Uh, no double meaning there. Um, sorry. Okay, so Young Frankenstein. I mean, obviously, I had a good time with the movie. I feel like so far, now I've watched three Mel Brooks films, had a good time with all three. Um, it's going to be tough. Now it's going to be really tough to rank them. As I was watching this movie, I was thinking that Blazing Saddles was still my favorite. But the end of this movie, the last act really came together and was really quite funny. Um, so I don't know. And I just love how we ended with that final joke. I mean, I was probably one of the slowest people to realize what was going on. Maybe not. I feel dumb, like not putting it together exactly until the end. I don't know. It's tough. I'm really gonna have to think about it. I can't choose the top one for now. But what I really liked with this movie, I mean, Gene Wilder obviously was really, really good. Um, but as Mel Brooks, you know, has done in all the movies I've watched so far, once again, like the supporting cast in his films really, really bring it with the comedy. And I think that's part of the reason that the movies are so funny. I mean, yes, there are some just crazy gags and some of the jokes are really well written and just so, so silly. Um, but the, the, the commitment of the actors and their comedic performance of, between the expressions on their faces, you know, and the body language too, you know, just a lot of different elements that that make it so, so funny. And then I also like, you know, how I, I thought I appreciated now having watched the movie, I think I understand a lot more why it was in black and white. I'm not sure if this is directly parodying a famous Frankenstein movie in particular, the way Robin Hood Men in Tights, as I was informed in the comments, was parodying a particular Robin Hood movie. Um, the one with Kevin Costner. But um, I think that by doing this in black and white, at least for me, it reminded me so much of just older cinema and noirs, like I've said before. And it also helped just sell the humor of the melodrama in a certain sense, you know, by having that really dramatic lighting and those deep shadows and all those, you know, very emotional reactions, you know, by having that drama reflected in the cinematography and lighting and by having it, you know, the absence of color, um, it, it really just added to the tone and silliness overall because they kind of really committed to the joke 100% in that way. And I like, you know, I, I guess it's kind of par for the course for a good satire or a good parody of a genre film, but I like how we kind of went through the beats similar to the Frankenstein movie, you know, like at least for me, I was wondering, you know, are we going to lean into some real dark humor? Like the moment where he kidnaps uh, the fiance, Rachel, I believe her name is. You know, I've read the book Frankenstein, so I know that in the story, if I'm remembering correctly, it was a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure the monster kills his fiance, like either right after the wedding or right before in the wedding night like breaks in and so by having you know a lot of those same story beats including that one like that moment in particular i'm like okay shoot are we gonna is he gonna kill her off and it's gonna be ridiculous and silly you know but clearly they went uh, a different route and it was just very very funny the way <laughs> they fell in love uh, that was great that actress, I want to look up who it is afterwards playing uh, Rachel. She was really, really good in the movie. She was a standout for me, for sure. And then just the final joke. I mean, I thought it was great. It was it was like a callback to earlier, their conversation they had <laughs> at the breakfast table or the dinner table, right, with Igor. And it was just, it was funny. So, yeah, had a fun time with this one. And another thing, too, so far, having watched the three Mel Brooks movies, they they definitely feel like Mel Brooks films. But they're not all the same exactly. Like, obviously, you're tackling, like, different genres, you know, whether it's a Western or a Robin Hood, you know, medieval-type movie or this with, like, Dracula, Frankenstein, monster horror. But also, like, I don't know exactly how to pinpoint and describe the humor, but they don't feel 100% identical. I mean, certain scenes and certain gags are very reminiscent of others, but there's also kind of a unique flavor to the comedy in each of the three films that at least in my mind are pretty distinct and i like that it, it helps the movies feel fresh while also familiar i don't know if, i don't know if i'm saying that correctly but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and had a fun time with it uh, as always of course the full reaction to this is on patreon and whatever i decide the next mel brooks movie reaction that'll be out here on youtube in a week or on patreon now if you want to check that out also reacting to friends those reactions are going to be on patreon they're going to be free for the month of december as a christmas present to everyone here so if you want to check those out for 100 for free those are on patreon but thank you to everyone for watching along and as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.